the Empire Sports. Let me give you analyzed keys to the game, how we're going to be able to execute, okay? Time of possession, that's the most important key because you want to keep Rodgers and the offense off the field and kill as much clock as we can. Run the ball effectively, create a play action, have Nick Mullins on a rhythm. Brandon Ayuk, Brandon Ayuk needs to have a great game because if he has a breakout game and then Kendrick Bourne comes on, on fire and Jermichael Hesse has a field day as a runner and Jarrett McKinnon does his part, this should be a win. It's very winnable, but what we got to do is just run the ball. Confuse Rodgers in coverage. Make him frustrated. At least try to cover the... The receivers, you know, Devontae Adams is one of their best receivers, and you got to cover this guy. You got to frustrate him. So the way we got to do it is we got to do good coverage. We got to make sure that we'll make sure Rodgers holds on to the damn ball, and we can sack his ass. That's the key to, to beating Packers. Frustrate them. Have the time of possession longer. Dominate the game. Run the ball effectively. Get Brandon Ayuk a breakout game. Let Kedrick Bourne run wild when he gets the ball. Uh, Ross Dwelly or Jordan Reed, get him involved. Kyle Juszczyk needs to get involved. Anytime we get him involved, we seem to win. So we got to do really good there. Try to get some pressure off Rodgers. Make it hard for him to extend plays. Make him more frustrated. That's the way you're going to beat Aaron Rodgers in the Packers offense. And definitely slow down Aaron Jones, Aaron Jones is who you got to slow down. They don't have Jamal Williams or AJ Dillon playing because they're likely on the COVID list or something. So you got to, they got this guy named Tyree, Tyler Irvin or something as their backup. So you got to contain those guys. Green Bay's got more of a challenge. Their offense is really good. It's kind of exactly the same as Seattle, except their defense sucks too. It's, it's kind of like we're facing Seattle. They don't got much pass rushers either. I mean, they got the Smith brothers, but they haven't really produced like last year. They haven't shown like like the way they were last year. It's kind of like a non-existent. They haven't showed out. So this is part of the game where the, you expect them to bounce back. But I think if we block better and execute them and run the ball and be able to have enough time for Nick Mullins, Nick Mullins might just have the similar breakout game against the Raiders. This might be the coming out party to where people might say, hey, Nick Mullins might be the guy. I don't I don't want to I don't want to talk about controversial. I don't think he would be the guy, but it would be like the hype where everybody's like saying, "Wow, Nick Mullins is something else." And even as a fan, I'll be like, "Dude, this guy's just he's playing good on the system. That's it. He's mostly just playing good." But I'll give him credit if that were the case. But honestly, he's more of a backup. So, um this is the Empire Sports my analyst and my prediction. I mean, we can win. It's winnable. If I had to pick the score prediction, 49ers 31, Packers 28. But on my pick, I actually picked Green Bay Packers to win by 10 points because I'm being realistic. But as far as giving my fans what they want, the best chance for us to win is we can win by three points because we own Aaron Rodgers. But don't let my pick them be in the way because I'm just getting the points and try to win something out of this, you know. I mean, most fans do it anyways, but you got to be realistic. But I think we have a chance to win by three points, and I don't lose hope on my team. I don't lose any hope on them. I just have to be realistic on that shit. But if, if Nick Mullins can get up to a 300-yard passing game like he did against the Giants, this can be the kind of game where people's like surprised by it. But he's been learning under Shanahan's offense, so he, he kind of gets it, and he lets the ball rip in, and everybody will get the ball. So Nick Mullins will make everybody better. He'll probably put up better stats. But, um, yeah. So if we can get Jermichael Hesse on a, on a good game, this can be good for our offense. So this is the Empire Sports, and I'm out. Let's go Niners.